What's up guys, welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. Today we'll be making a tier list on all of the characters in Anime Dimensions. Before we get into the video though, make sure to subscribe and leave a like on the video and comment down below what character you are currently using. So in the D tier we actually have, and I'm gonna name these with the copyrighted name, so essentially we have Roku, Ishini, Fluffy, Nado and Cherry. I think it becomes quite obvious why the beginner characters are actually on D tier. They're not really supposed to be um, too overpowered. They should be pretty good, but only at the start and then later on you obviously get better characters. So yeah. Roku is pretty decent overall. The Rapid Punch is actually pretty okay. I don't really like it too much and I don't think it gives iframes. Next up we have the Key Blast. I mean that is okay. The key beam is pretty good and the last move is also pretty good but the startup on it, I mean it gives you iframes but the problem is the characters can still catch up to you and then hit you afterwards so there's not really any iframes afterwards so the NPCs just get free damage off on you. Next up we have Ichini, same thing for him kind of, he has a lot of range moves which is pretty good but the issue with those are that they don't deal that much damage and overall the character does not deal any damage, the damage output is just way too low especially if you're trying to do solo raids this will not benefit you whatsoever oh, we have fluffy this character has kind of the same issue as the previous one it has a few long range moves but the long range moves do not deal any damage that is really really bad on these characters but fluffy for sure probably like the best character except for um deku from the beginners the last move really clutches up for it barrage does a shit ton of damage and the third move does pretty good damage but it sadly dashes you into the enemies which is something that you probably we do not want to do we have Nardo. i mean the first move throw kunai uses move second move shadow clone is pretty good it has invincibility frames which is pretty important for these meaning that he's invincible in that move but the issue is that it only hits like twice and it does mediocre damage so just overall inferior to deku that is why i'm saying deku is probably like the best one out of all of the beginners and the rest of the moves are just the same i mean the rasengan you have to get close to the opponent i mean the last one the rasen Shuriken type of one. I mean, you have to get close to him, but then it does AoE. I mean, it's a good move, but still, I wouldn't risk going into the enemy. Last character for the D category is Cherry. And I mean, first move, throw Kunai, the same dog shit move that Naldo has. Second move, Blossom Crush, pretty good move overall. Third move, Heal. Might be wondering, oh, but Heal, that, is, that sounds overpowered, right? No, because if you think about it, if the person was using any other character that deals way more damage than Cherry, then you wouldn't even get into into the position of getting low HP. So you would think that heal is good, but it's actually not that good and not that crazy. And now the last move, Blossom Strike, is okay. The damage output on Cherry is just way too low to compensate for the heal move. The heal move is a pretty cool move and a unique move, but it just the, the punishment for playing this character is just too high. Now moving on to the C category, we have three characters. The C category consists of Kirua, Reku, and Hatsu. Now I will put Kirua and Reku on the same level as they are really really similar in all of the moves essentially. Kirua's first move Thunder Palm uh, has a pretty small range low cooldown though and obviously does pretty good damage. Second move we have Lightning Rain gives you iframes and does a shit ton of damage. Third move we have Whirlwind once again essentially like the exact same move as Reku. Um, you jump into the air smash down deal a shit ton of damage and now the fourth move makes him probably better than Reku. Removes all of your cooldowns and you can spam every move which is broken and otherwise Kirua will probably not be on C tier because Deku d does more damage than him on every move except for the first one and overall it's probably just better except if you add Godspeed onto it because Godspeed clutches up for him very much and, and you essentially become a god in Godspeed um yeah Next up we have Reku, first move essentially the same as Kirua, does mediocre damage to high damage. Second move has an okay startup, it's not too long, so it's okay, and deals high damage, so overall pretty good, sadly doesn't have iframes. Third move, completely similar to Kirua, you jump into the air, jump down, and deal a shit ton of damage, the range is okay on it. If the range was bigger then uh, Reku would probably be really broke, and the last move really clutches up for him, it's essentially like the second move of Kirua, but just on crap and you just go crazy now Hatsu being a boss drop obviously I have to put him as C but sadly he 
he's really just mediocre overall. His first move doesn't do a lot of damage, has pretty good range though. Second move, kind of the same thing. The third move is a dash into the enemies, which I don't really like. You can kind of use it to dash away from enemies, but you will probably take damage either way. So, you know, not the greatest move. And the fourth move is just the reskin of Spirit Bomb and has the same issues. Speeding things up, we have the B category consisting of Itabori, Pasta and Yakaza. I would just go over every character in one go. So Itabori, Pasta and Yakaza, all of these characters have insane amounts of AoE and deal a shit ton of damage. Overall, I wouldn't put these characters above B though, because their damage output and the cooldowns are a bit too high on the characters. Also adding on, most of these characters don't have many iframes. Yakaza has one. Not too sure about the other characters though. I'm assuming they have one, but you just gotta have more than one iframe move in if you wanna be A or S. Now we're getting into the crazy categories we have the a category now and all of these characters are really good to use if you want to use them you can use these characters if you like them over let's say these characters are like your favorite characters like Tanjiro or someone then you can just use these characters over the s tier characters because these characters are enough to handle 99 percent of rates so for the characters we have alturia eguretsu and tonjiro i won't really go into detail as to why these characters are an a tier because you can just look that up the characters are insanely broken have a shit ton of iframes a shit ton of damage output and just good aoe moves and lastly guys we've reached it, the s tier now all of these characters are so incredibly broken to the point where this game is just a matter of how fast can I speed run these raids, these dungeons? All of these characters are so insanely busted that it's actually just like... I, I can't imagine the game not to be fun when you have these characters. So yeah, let's just go straight into the character list. So we have Nojo, Ramura, Zetsu and Kudo Toki. As a quick overview, even though you should probably know this already since most of these characters are 1600 characters, so they cost 1600 gems, 1600 gems. Um, all of these characters have iframes that last for years and do so much damage that you can literally one tap any fucking boss, doesn't matter which one. Ah! That is essentially already it for the video guys, if you enjoyed it. Like I already said, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.